So number four then from the 2014 Higher Maths Paper 2, the angle between two vectors question. But first of all, we have to go through this diagram to try and figure out a couple of coordinates. So part A, what does part A say? State the coordinates of C and D. Well, that's a bit of a nuisance. You'll have to figure out the size of one of these cuboids. So if that's at 8 and B, which is on the opposite side, the right hand side is at 11, it means that the width of them is 3. B then tells you that since it's one box back, that the breadth of it's 4 and that the height of it's 2. So those are the numbers you'll be using then to get from A to C. So what are the coordinates of C? Well, it just says stage, so you could write it down, but I'll go through the stages of it. C is on the right hand face, so it'll be 8 plus a width, so it'll be 8 plus 3. Or I could have said it's 11, because obviously it's the same face as, as B. It's three steps back, so it's three lots of four in the y direction, and it's three boxes up, so it's three times two in the z direction, which means C is the point 11, 12, 6. Similarly for D, now D is on the same face, the left hand face as A, so we'll start with an 8. It is two boxes back, so it's two lots of four, and two boxes up, so it's two lots of two, so D is the point 8, 8, 4. Now I'd imagine there'd be quite a bit of scope for error then in what folk might put down for these coordinates, trying to figure the way around that diagram. And there's still the rest of the question to go that are going to use these numbers, but that's their own fault, because whoever's mark marking it is going to have to sort through all the working over and over again for those little mistakes that will probably crop, crop up. Right, part B. Determine the components CB and CD. Well, CB will be B minus C, just subtracting the position vectors of either end to see how you get from one place to another. D minus C. So that'll be, let's just batter down, I'm not going to leave room for the rest of this, these little faces. Let's put B mouth in as well. So, what have we got? B minus C. Well, B was 11.42. And C is 11, 12, 6. D is 8, 8, 4. And C is 11, 12, 6. Just numbers all over the place. 11 take away 11, 0. 4 take away 12 is negative 8. 2 take away 6 is negative 4. 8 take away 11 is negative 3. 8 take away 12 is negative 4. 4 take away... They're all negatives. Well, there you go. Those are the two vectors. And part C, find the size of angle B, C, D. Notice it says angle B, C, D, which means I want the vectors that radiate from that common point, the vertex of the angle. I want B, C, B and C, D, but that's what they asked you for anyway. Well, the cosine of angle B, C, D, it's just a case of putting down this formula, which is just the scalar products both ways round, is cb dot cd that's the scalar product divided by the scalar product using the length times the length times the cosine so take the lengths across and divide the length of cb times the length of cd now it's just a case of how we set this out i just put all the numbers in and work it down but I've seen in marking schemes that they like to have the three parts separated because there's a mark for each of those or so. But I'm just going to put it all down. So CB dot CD, the scalar product, that will be the 0 times the negative 3, multiplying the x components, plus negative 8 times negative 4, multiplying the y components, plus negative 4 times negative 2, multiplying the z components. That can sit and wait whilst I put this down. Now the length. The length of CB will be the square root of the squares of those. 0 squared, negative 8 squared, and negative 4 squared. Similarly for CD. 
it'll be the negative 3 squared. Of course, the negatives don't make any difference as far as squaring is concerned. And the negative 2 squared. Now, just crunch some of these numbers. That product is 0. That's plus 32. And that's plus 8. For these square roots, that's a 0. That's a 64. And that's a 16. That's a 9. That's a... 16 and that's a 4 so the top comes to 40 that's the square root of 64 and 16 is 80 that's the square root of 20 and 9 is 29 so finally I can just say the angle BCD will be the inverse cos of that thing there's no need to work that out the only concession I might make is if I've got a product of roots that'll just be the square root of the product will save me typing one less thing into my calculator. But that's all I do now. I just type that into the calculator. And I've got 33.85 etc degrees. So I'll just say angle BCD is 33.9 degrees. And I imagine there'll be lots of variations in that for the markers to sort their way through.